Gentlemen, my name is Aaron Marino from Alpha M. And today, I'm gonna take you through the first workout from my program, Tailored. Six weeks to living lean, available on bodybuilding.com, all access. Today, we're gonna hit chest, we're gonna hit triceps. There are 11 exercises in total. The workout is intense, but you really need to make sure that you're using a weight you can control. It's about range of motion, it's about control. It starts with push-ups. All right guys, so the first exercise is push-ups, one of my all-time favorite moves. The reason I love it so much, it allows your body to warm up, it works the chest, it engages the shoulders and your triceps, all right? So we're starting with four sets, 12 to 30 reps. The idea is that you're allowing your muscles to warm up. Um, 12 to 30 is the rep range. Now for those of you just starting, go as many as you can. For those of you a little bit stronger, I'd say hit 30. For those of you even more in the beginner range, you can go to your knees, no problem, right? The idea is that you're doing them at a nice speed, nothing too fast, not bouncing the chest. All right, so first set's down. In terms of rest, I'm only resting 30 to 45 seconds. My philosophy when it comes to working out is that I'm gonna work the muscles as hard as I can in the shortest amount of time possible. Set number two. By reducing the rest time, you're gonna increase the workload. You're not gonna be as strong, but the idea here is to gain function, strength, and endurance. <sighs> Something else you're gonna notice. The first set is gonna be stronger. You're gonna do more. With each successive set, you're not gonna be able to do as much. It's okay. It's all about contraction, control, and getting those muscles to work. <sighs> it's already getting pretty tough. Last set. If you haven't tried condensing and making the rest shorter, it is going to challenge your muscles, challenge your body, and make them respond and grow in a way that you've never experienced. <sighs> All right, guys, congratulations. First exercise down, second one coming up. Now with the pec deck, this is an incredible exercise to really isolate your chest and get a good stretch. Set the weight, we're doing 10 to 12 reps, somewhere in that neighborhood. Start here, feet on the floor, elbows back, good stretch with a pause when you're back. It's all about that squeeze, gentlemen. It's all about that squeeze, that control, that contraction. If you can do 12 reps, it's pretty easy. Time to increase the weight. It feels so good. After push-ups, <laughs> your chest, your shoulders, already on fire. And set it down, woo! Already feeling this. Guys, rest, 30 to 45 seconds, no longer. Set two. I increased the weight, because I got 12, pretty easy. Next time you're working out, when you try this, I want you to pause, right? A lot of guys just speed through this, and they're like, oh, I'm not getting results. Yeah, you're not getting results, because you're going too fast. Remember, guys, it's about control, squeeze, making sure you're using a weight that's manageable. It's a whole different workout, whole different level of results. Set it down and rest. Set number three. When you sit, you want your elbows to be parallel with the floor. If the seat is too high, a lot of times it puts your shoulders at a difficult and, and compromised angle. All right, guys, I need to lighten the weight. My form was starting to break down. I wanna make sure that I'm still getting a good stretch, good squeeze, and my form isn't all crazy so I don't hurt myself. All right, guys, exercise two complete. Now, let's grab some dumbbells. We're doing chest press. Dumbbell presses, one of my other favorite exercises. Rep range between eight and 12. You're gonna progressively increase the weight as the sets progress. We're shooting for three sets. Remember, eight to 12 reps. Make sure you are also controlling the weight on the way back and on the way up. Down, nice and deep and up. 
Don't slam them together. All right, you wanna make sure you're using a weight you can control. If you can't, then just lighten it. Remember guys, it's no big deal. Don't worry about lifting heavy. It's not about that. It's about you getting the best workout you can. Don't worry about strength. That'll come. Breathe in on the way down. Out on the way up when you're doing the work. Once again, notice my elbows. Nice and wide, protecting your shoulders. Ah, and set them down. Rest. Once again, about 30, 45 seconds. Uh, since we're gonna be trying to increase strength, I would go a little bit longer with the 45 seconds as opposed to 30, um, because this is a tough exercise, and you wanna make sure that you're not you know, going too fast, using a weight that's too heavy, and end up hurting yourself. And so, take rest, but not too long. Ah, and set them back. So you may be asking yourself, wait a second, you're doing dumbbells before flat wrench? This is crazy. You're using a lot of stabilizing muscles, and in the beginning of a workout, I want you to be stronger. Later on, we're gonna do bench press with the straight bar, and you're gonna be not as strong there, but don't worry, there's a method to the madness. All right, guys. Third set, time to move on. The fourth exercise is dumbbell flies. All right, dumbbell flies. An exercise that doesn't get as much love as I personally feel that it should. You wanna use a weight that's manageable. The elbows need to stay up. You don't want your shoulder to be at risk for injury. Elbows back, good stretch. And up. We're shooting for eight to 12 reps, four sets. Notice that my elbows are not straight. They're not locked, my arms. You wanna make sure that you're keeping a little bit of flexion in those arms so you don't put any extra strain or pressure on the joints. Good stretch, elbows up, together. Rest, once again, 30, 45 seconds. If you get to 12 reps and they're easy, increase the weight. Don't worry about how much you're lifting. I keep stressing that. It is truly about the quality of the rep as opposed to the amount of weight you're lifting. All you gotta focus on, all you gotta worry about is how that muscle feels, how you work it, all right? So if you can do that with a five pound dumbbell or a 35 pound dumbbell, it doesn't matter. Stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure that you're working those muscles as hard as you can. For me, I got other things to do. I'm a busy guy, probably much like yourself. I don't wanna spend an hour and a half, two hours in the gym. And so one of the benefits to doing my program is that it's going to save you time. You're gonna get in, you're gonna get out, and you're gonna get the best workouts of your life. One more set. That concludes this exercise. Congratulations and get ready, because next up, we got bench press. All right, guys, remember how this whole workout I've been talking about, don't worry about how strong you are. It's all about getting in there, getting those muscle fibers to engage and break down. We're shooting for four sets, eight to 12 reps. Nice and controlled, slow on the way down. Press it up. Oh my gosh, this is so hard right now. Ugh, I'm getting an incredible workout. You guys are gonna know exactly how I'm feeling, what I'm talking about. When you give this a try, you're gonna love it. And rest. This workout is designed for building your muscles larger, but also muscle endurance. This isn't a strength. You're not gonna become a power lifter from this workout, all right? This is about getting in, getting out, and getting the best workout you've ever had. 
Now, one thing I do that you can try if you want to is actually elevate your feet and cross them. For me, this takes a lot of pressure and strain off of my lower back. It also forces me not to use my legs to cheat. I've got to use all chest, all shoulders, all triceps all the time. One more. All right. Next, gentlemen, we're hitting dips. All right, gentlemen, this next exercise, body weight dips, gives you the best chest bang for your buck, in my opinion. You've got two different options. The assisted machine, which is cool. Don't sweat it. If you're too tired at this point to do body weight dips or you're only getting like two or three reps, go here. You can totally adjust and customize the workout and the exercise for you. We're going three sets, 10 to 20 reps. And there's a very broad range here because depending on you, your ability and how you're feeling, that's really going to dictate it. For me, I'm shooting for 20, but we'll see what happens. Elbows out. That's another key to this exercise. You don't want to have your elbows back, all right? That puts a lot more pressure and strain on the front of your shoulder. Elbows out, nice and wide, down. Don't lean too far forward and up. Chest up, elbows out and up right here. Try not to hyperextend your elbows also. Keep a little bit of flexion in them to make sure you're not hurting your elbows or shoulders. <sighs> nice and deep. <clears throat> I don't know how many that was exactly. All I know is that I'm on fire. Next set. If I had to choose one exercise, like if I could only do one for the rest of my workout life, Body weight dips would probably be that exercise because you get such an amazing sort of total body. I mean, you're working core, you're working stabilizing muscles, and you get incredible results. <clears throat> and rest. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, really make it yours. But the idea is that you're getting an incredible stretch, tearing those muscle fibers, making them rebuild bigger, stronger, more amazing. <clears throat> Guys, great job. But now it's time for push-ups again. So before we move on to triceps, we're going back down to the floor, two sets of push-ups. We're going 10 to 25 reps or whatever you can do. The idea is that you're burning out that chest one last time. In terms of rest, give it about 15, 20 seconds, and right back down. Last set. <sighs> Great workout, guys. Your chest totally spent by this point. But next up, we're hitting triceps. Your triceps have been getting work this whole time. So it's not gonna take all that much to really get in there and do the damage we need to do. Next up is rope pushdowns. All right, so the first tricep exercise is tricep rope pushdowns. Remember, we're working the triceps. So you gotta make sure when you come down, you're squeezing with a pause. You come up 90 degrees. Don't come all the way, uh-uh, that's wrong. Here and here. We're going three sets, 12 to 20 reps. <laughs> so on fire, it's ridiculous. For rest, only about 30 seconds. You don't want to rest super long. Make sure that those arms and those triceps are getting the best workout they can. Uh, 30 second rest. Last set.
Great job, guys. Next, we're doing another dip, but this time it's focused on tricep as opposed to chest, and we're using a bench. So for tricep dips, I'm gonna show you two variations. One is going to be a bit more advanced. The other is a little bit easier. For those of you who are tired or this is kind of new to you, you wanna make sure that you stay safe and don't overdo it at first. The first way you can do this is by elevating your feet, all right? You wanna make sure that your elbows are going back, your body is sliding along the bench, all right? You don't wanna to create too much separation. This is putting your shoulders at an unsafe angle, and if you feel any pain in your shoulder and this just doesn't feel right, I don't want you doing this. This is an exercise for people that have healthy shoulder joints, all right? So here's the first option, all right? Feet up. This is gonna be more challenging. We're going for three sets, 12 to 20 reps. If this is too difficult or becomes too difficult, what I want you to do is take your feet to the floor, a little bit easier. Now you're like, yo, that's still hard. All you gotta do is bring those feet a little bit closer, okay? You can use them. Allow your legs to help you during this motion. But this is an amazing exercise and one that you're gonna love. <clears throat> Rest about 30 seconds. Last set. <laughs> Great job. Next up, skull crushers. So I know we're 10 exercises deep. You're feeling it, I'm feeling it. This is a brutal workout, but that's why it works. You're gonna grab a weight, kick it back. I place my feet up just to take pressure off my lower back and to make sure I'm not cheating. Down your forehead and up. Elbows are staying in, pressing up. All right, we're shooting for three sets, eight to 12 reps. Set it down, 30 to 45 second rest, and do it again. One more. Last one. Great job, gentlemen. Don't give up yet. We got one more exercise, tricep kickbacks. So for this last exercise, tricep kickbacks, I'm only using 15 pounds. This is not an exercise that you try and go super heavy. It's to finish off those triceps. What I do, I take a weight, 15 pounds. I brace myself, sort of like I'm doing one arm dumbbell rows, right? I brace myself on one leg, elbow up, you're not moving this upper part of your arm. All you're doing, kicking back right there with a pause. One, two, We're going three sets, 10 to 15 reps. And at this point in the workout, <laughs> you're done, right? You are toast, your triceps trashed, your chest pumped and exhausted. And switch hands, switch legs, do it again. Burning, right? You're only gonna rest about 30 seconds. You're gonna switch hands and you're gonna do it again. Next set. Remember guys, I'm gonna turn. I want you to make sure that this upper part of your arm is not dipping down, it's not going super high, right here. It's all about keeping that tension 
on the muscle so that you work it to complete exhaustion. Another side. One more set. Finish strong. We did it. I did it. You need to do it. Guys, bodybuilding.com, it's available right now. The Alpha M's tailored six weeks to living lean program. This was just the first workout. If you think you can handle it and you want to challenge your body and your mind to take your physique and your life to the next level, you got to make sure you sign up today.